I was drawing portraits a lot, sculpting portraits on a big scale, and then started to carve into the concrete. And then one went on the wall, and another went, went on the wall, and then I was having a relationship with these people on the wall, and then it grew and grew and grew until I filled up a whole room full of these, these little portraits. And these pieces feel like dots on the map of where I've been and time. Um, if I took a break from where I was working at the time in Washington DC to travel back to South Africa or to Austria, I would get a bucket and put sand and dirt from that area into the bucket and then mix the cement with it later. So they recordings in a way and now that 10 years has gone by, I'd recognize these little people. I'm like, hello, hello, I haven't seen you in ages. I think time is a very interesting shape. It folds and it weaves and it's a wave and it's sometimes a circle, but it's definitely not a line. Well, it's named congregation because the definition of people simply congregating, not necessarily religious congregating of people, and the dynamics of what happens when people congregate. There's collective bodies and individual bodies, and when all those individual bodies get together as a collective body, something shifts. One of the contradictions of the work is that it's, concrete is not good for the environment, yet we're surrounded by it. And so the plastic kind of adds to that complex conversation about waste and industry and carbon footprint, and yet suspends it in the like, where is this? It's not a shopping bag anymore. It's, it's, um, it's in tension with the, with the little portrait that it's attached to. There's a lot of concrete suspended all around us and so that poetic language or fragile language around picking into it and narratives within the concrete as a little fossil or a little nugget of time or time capsule is, I just haven't gotten bored of it, I love it. And you can cut into it and it changes and it, and it talks back. The biggest challenge I think for any artist of any sort is the, the doubt that almost stops you from doing it in the first place. Technical challenges you can work out. That little moment of doubt is ready to catch a hold of, like a molecule on another molecule, the moment of inspiration. So if you don't catch it quick and sing the song in the car with the windows wound up, you're never gonna hear the song because I think the minute we're actually doing it, then it gets a life of its own and then we're in dialogue with that beginning.